Hello. Can everyone hear us? Uh, I'm Rick of Shah. I'm Jesse Michelle. And we built Onway, uh, which is an elegant neural net interface, sorry, an elegant neural net user interface. Uh. So this is a tool that allows you to very quickly iterate through neural network architectures. So we allow you to build your architectures to be as complex as you'd like. As you can see here, we have a lot of convolutional layers, uh, dense layers, and max pooling layers. Um, but just to give you an example, we can go through a, um, a simple uh, one-layer network. So I'll do a quick play-by-play. -play. So we're going to start with a dense layer, and we're just going to drag it out. Um, <laughs> we got this. Don't worry. Um, uh, so then. We're going to connect it. So this is our input. This is our output. And we're going to change the number of parameters in the output. This is because we're using the MNIST data set. So it has 10 classes, numbers 0 through 9 that we're classifying. And next, we're going to toss on an activation, which is ReLU. Now, I have a quick question for the audience. How many units should we use in our dense layer? Zero, 1 to 100. Go. 70. Let's go. So now, we're going to start training locally. Uh, there's also the option for training on the cloud, but this is very small. So we got this locally. And soon, we'll see it train. And if you look in the uh, uh, top corner there, you can see uh, the training information as it uh, updates the accuracy and loss values uh, of the network. And uh, we can actually take a look under the hood and look at the source code um, as to what, what um, neural network model is actually being trained. And if we look here, we see um, standard Python code uh, written using the Keras library. Uh, and you can see that the dense layer that was created indeed has the 70 uh, uh, units as uh, needed. So one of the directions that we're looking at here is not only just fast iteration, but also really understanding what's going on. And with this sort of interface, it makes it a little bit easier. So for example, we can look at uh, uh, different layers of uh, the convolutional nets. Uh, so that's here. Um, we have an example there. And in general, this is sort of the purpose of this tool and what we want to work towards is making it easier for people to single out and understand uh, different parts of their neural nets. All right. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of the hackathon.